guys, it's Warga here from TCM Gaming. I'm back with another look at a new product from Mad Cats. Um, I managed to get my hands on one of these at Ice Series, and I did intend on getting this review, or first glimpse, should I say, up a little bit earlier, but due to some technical difficulties with my uh, camera, I wasn't able to do that. Um, you might remember my last review, which was the uh, Cyborg Ambiex Gaming Lights, which actually you can probably just see in the background on the shot there. Um, this time, however, I'm back with a, a, another look at a Cyborg product, and what I'm looking at now is the Rat7 gaming mouse, however, but it's the Albino Edition. The Albino Edition is the new special uh, special limited edition from Mad Cats, um, and it, it, it's an enhancing from the, the world-famous record-breaking, in fact, uh, Rat7 gaming mouse, the most customizable mouse in the world. Um, the mouse itself has some similarities from the rat 7 a lot of things have been taken carried over so to speak however this one has has a modified appearance and some some technical adjustments which we'll go through once we get inside the box um as always the packaging is you know the same mad cats very very nice packaging there's a little glimpse of the mouse inside but we'll take that out in a second um as you can see it's an awesome looking thing and let's get inside the box and uh, let's have a, a first glimpse of it so to speak Okay, so I've part opened the box now, um, mainly because the last thing you want to be doing is sitting there at home watching some Jolie trying to open a box, and as the no notoriously difficult to get into. Now, first of all, on the top you've got the, the mouse itself, itself, of course, so there's your first glimpse at the mouse, and what it's got is a white matte finish with silver accent colours and also some red on there. The matte finish is very very nice, um, good traction, good friction for example. Um, as you can see the, the cord is white just to keep it in with the mouse um, itself. We'll put that down for now. Um, also in the box you have the typical instruction manuals and warranty information as well as a driver disc. Uh, we can put those to one side. And as per the RAT7, you have our box of goodies, um, which includes, once I get it open, um, which includes two pinky grips as per the RAT7 and two palm rests, as well as 45 grams worth of uh, adjustable weight. So if you like your mouse heavier, you can have that. Or if you're like me and prefer a slightly lighter mouse, considering the RAT7 is actually pretty heavy to start with then you know you'll use no weights however there's a good little holder for this um, and as I say you can adjust the palms and pinky rests as you wish personally the rubber one for me but we'll go through that in a bit about how you adjust them and whatnot but overall a, a cool little carry case for the box of goodies um, and we'll have a look at the actual mouse okay so we've got the mouse here itself um, first of all as I said earlier on the new design is looking awesome and um, so we've got the white matte finish with the silver sides for both the pinky and thumb rest with um, red as sort of an accent color and add, adds a bit of flair in there and um, the themes continued through the cord of course it would look a bit silly if you had all white and then a, a black cord so we've got a nice lovely white um, cord here um, first of all before we go on I'm going to talk about some of the features that I've actually carried over from the RAT7 just in case any of you guys haven't possessed or, or taken a look at the, the standard RAT7 not the Albino edition that we've got here so we've got a lot of programmable buttons on the front here first of all we've got the two left and right click buttons that is on any mouse and um, then on the thumb rest here you've got two two buttons here that you can program to whatever you want again all of this is programmed in the cyborg software that comes with the mouse it's very easy to use and um, we've got the precision aim button here which again is programmed within the software itself now as for settings um, you can change it on the fly of course right here is where you change the cyborg mode if you would like to have more than one cyborg mode the cyborg mode is basically three different modes in which you can program in the software and you can change on the fly when it's plugged in, that will light up with different colours. So, depending on which colour, say if you had the red mode or the blue mode. Three different modes, as I say. Um, this button here, in the middle of the two mice button, um, changes the DPI. You can have four different DPI settings. Those DPI settings are shown on the left-hand side of the mouse here. Again, because it's not plugged in, you cannot see it lit up. 
but that's four different DPI settings so you can adjust that on the fly as and when you need to. Great thing is, as I say about this, everything's adjustable within the Cyborg software. Um, so if you do like to change things on the fly or mix it up a bit, perfect for you. Not only customizable on the outside, as we'll show in a second, but perfectly customizable on the inside, making your perfect mouse or rat in this case. Externally, it took a lot of things from the Rat 7. Um, as you can see in this white box here, which we showed you earlier, we've got all the different palm rests and pinky grips as per the Rat 7. You have a rubber one and a higher, um, a higher raised one. A lot of people can play like that with a palm. However, this one, if you play with more of a claw style, a lot of gamers will, will know what I mean by that then you can change it for what you need. So for example, changing a palm rest, it's quite simple. You can either adjust it to a different height or you can take it off completely. And for example, we'll take this rubber one from inside of here, simply slides on the back like that, locks into place. And again, when it's on, if you want to make it smaller, you can make it smaller. If you want to make it longer, you can do that also. Perfect, so that's the palm rest. The pinky rest is also changeable, straight from the RAT7 as well. Um, we'll have two, again, two pinky rests, so if you want to have that, so that your finger's lying on it, you can do that. I'm not going to do that on this video now because you have to unscrew this screw. To do that, you get the RAT tool, which is out here. Simply unscrew that and screw the right one in that you wish. As I say, it's best to take some time to do this. I'm not going to do it on the video because the last thing you want to be sitting here is watching uh, some Geordies playing with Allen keys. So we'll leave that for now. This screw, however, not only changes the pinky rest, but also the thumb rest. Now the thumb rest can go different directions. So for example, first of all, by twisting that, as you can see, the thumb rest is actually moving up. So if you'd like that higher up the mouse, or alternatively, move it back down, as you can see that's moving down now. So not only can you move it up and down, but you can also move it left and right by simply unscrewing this little lock in here and you can make it wider, which is great if you've got wide hands like I've got, you can make it wider. Or if you've got smaller hands, you can make it smaller. Once you've got it in place where you want it, you simply lock that back up and that's it nice and rigid again. Right, we'll put this Allen key away for now. And that's the adjustability of the RAT7. Now, the Albino Edition has got some new features, and that's, for example, the 64,000 DPI laser, twin eye laser, um, which actually has two different axes to make sure your tracking is fully um, responsive and actually enhanced from the RAT7 itself. Um, in the box also, we have a weight, um, a weight container. Now, on the RAT7, Albino Edition, there is 45 grams of weights that are adjustable. If you're like me and you prefer a little bit of a lighter mouse, then you can take simply take all of these weights out. Be careful that the uh, you don't use the spring because that's always awkward. So you take that off. Weights simply slide out, and you can put in and out however many you like. I prefer quite a light setup for the uh, Rat 7 mainly because the mouse is pretty heavy to start with. Um, if you had a RAT3, for example, um, you wouldn't have this problem because it is a pretty light mouse. Um, so that simply goes back on there. Light mouse. And just to make sure you don't lose any of the weights, as per the RAT7, simply locks away in this cool little container. So yeah, this has been your first look at the RAT7 Albino Edition um, from Mad Cats. Um, in terms of retailing, uh, the mouse is retailing at the same price as the original Rat7, so it's $89.99 and it's exclusively on the GameShark store, uh, so store.gameshark.net. Um, what we actually do as well for, for you guys at home, we've got a special TCM gaming discount, so if you want to buy one of these, or in fact any Cyborg products, you can go on this on the store.gameshark.net and order what you want and then our TCM as a coupon code and you'll get an automatic 15% off. That code lasts, it's got no limitation on, so you can actually pick up one of these Albino editions right now for £76.50. As you can see, it's an awesome looking piece of kit, and I've actually just got the standard RAT7 here as well. 
as you can see, both stunning. However, the Rat, the Rat 7 Albino Edition, to me, has the edge, looks so much nicer. And as I, as I said earlier on, it has the new next-gen laser, which has the twin eye sensor, 6,400 DPI, and tracks a lot better than the standard edition. Not to mention that this one will probably be a little bit po more popular with people who own Max. Um, and I know you guys from Max were, were crying out for support, and Mad Cats did uh, answer your calls. And you can go on the cyborggaming.com and download the free Mac, Mac owner's driver um, and use it on your Mac or your PC. Uh, I've been Walker. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this first glance at the Rat7 Albino edition. Um, and if you've got any comments, just leave them on the video and we will do our best to answer them. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers.